Hi guys. So, um, um, today we're gonna be watching these two on YouTube videos. Yes. We're gonna watch trolling. No flip, no cap, no mess. Just grab and squeeze. Try Dawn Easy Squeeze. Roasted red peppers. And a drizzle of pesto. Cauliflower crust, extra cheese for... Love is not real. Love is false. Why can everyone have love? But I can't. But that's okay. If I can't have a happy family, no one can. I will show everyone, everyone, everyone. Everyone. It's his ninth birthday. I brought a delicious cake for you. Okay, now let me blow. <sighs> Great job. Now take a bite. <laughs> hey, why don't you look behind you? Your mother has a present for you. Wow. Is it what I think it is? Here. Open it. Oh my god. Thank you so much, mom. Now your dad's present. Another present? Ah, uh, yes. Who? I'm not gonna say much. You bought your son a cake, but your wife and your son are expecting for another gift. You can't just say I don't have one. So what do I do? Don't worry, I'll show you how to celebrate the birthday. Alright everyone, come with me. Step 1, take him out somewhere nice. Hey, where are we going? You'll see. You're lucky it's your birthday. Yes, this is the best birthday. Why don't you go have some fun? Oh, hey there. Is this your first time here? No, we came here for my birthday. Oh, well, happy birthday. Did you see that? Yeah, that was weird. Uh. You know what? Maybe I should leave. still can. I will show no mercy to your family. Your time is running out. The death is getting closer. The guns and the knives aren't so far anymore. Run, run, run. Hey, are you okay? What are you looking at?
Come on, let's go home. There is something wrong with her. She hasn't been showing any emotion. She is probably tired. No love allowed in my world. Jesus Christ. Step 2. Let him have fun. Okay, you go have some fun. I have to use the restroom. Okay. Mom, look. Look. I'm looking. I'm going again. Time is running out, kid. Say goodbye to your parents, and your baby sister. You're gonna live, and feel the pain of losing everybody you loved. You will wake up, finding your mother bleeding on her bed. Hey, what's wrong? Okay, I am back. Hey, can we go back home? What way? You don't like it? Yeah, I'd rather just stay home. Okay then. When it's done, they will all know who I am. Baby, are you okay?
You have two minutes to explain the situation to me. All of this is actually our fault. It all began last year. You told us that you want us to improve our defense systems and war apparatus. You gave us a deadline and we had no other choice but to adapt any means necessary. I told Dr. Trollo to help the military prepare a strong weapon, a weapon unlike any other. Dr. Troll developed a serum that we could use to create mutated super soldiers. Soldiers that can shoot lasers from their eyes, had superhuman strength, and could communicate telepathically. We had already tried the experiment on mice and it worked perfectly. Then, we found a human subject for the experiment. We named him Xerxes. The experiment went south and he got out of control. After killing everyone in the lab, he escaped to the jungles of Troll County. Later, using mind control, he would create some followers known as the Cult of Xerxes. We sent Agent 74 to eliminate that cult but we found something much more dangerous. An undead. 74 brought his body back to the lab and Dr. Trolla found the DNA of Xerxes in the undead's blood. To our horror, we found that whoever Xerxes bites, becomes a mindless undead. We named it the X-Virus. One after another, we would find reports of undead showing up. We had them all killed. We even killed the witness. But it wasn't enough. One of our underground labs got contaminated with the X-Virus. We sealed the lab, but some months later, the undead got out, and soon, the whole city was infected. We also believe that Xerxes can control these undead. So where is this Xerxes now? We have no idea.